Hi, here is the list of videos from my YouTube channel. If we open the analytics page for this video, you will notice that this video got 120 views. You will also notice that I posted this video 18 days before and that the view curve is steadily increasing. Now let's go to advanced mode and then click on the traffic source tab. Here you can see that over 56% of views are from YouTube search. Getting views from YouTube search is very important for the growth of your YouTube channels, especially during the startup phase when no one knows you already. Here in the TubeBuddy extensions, these are the keywords I'm using for this video. These numbers in green indicate the good ranking I have on YouTube for each of them. In this video, I will show you how to install the TubeBuddy extension and how I use it. So stay tuned and follow with me. Hi everybody, I am Mohamed from Smart DigiWeb. I am happy to be with you in this video. Before to start, please subscribe to get any update. Well, to install this extension, visit the TabBuddy website. To do this, just click on the link below in the description of this video. Then click on Install Free Now, then on Add to Chrome. Then confirm here in this pop up. Then on YouTube, when you are logged in with your channel account, click on the top body extension to activate it. Check that you accept the privacy policy and terms of use. Then click on sign in with YouTube. Then that sign in with the Gmail account associated with your channel. Then choose the channel you want to connect with TabBuddy. Then check that you give editing rights to TabBuddy on your channel. Finally, click on this button. Congratulations! You have now added the free version which you can use or you can upgrade to the paid offers. To know the differences between the free offer and the paid offers, on the TubeBuddy website, click on pricing. Here are the three paid offers. Scroll down and expand each of the following tabs to see the content of each offer. For me, the most important category is that relating to video SEO tools. Here you will notice that the free version is quite limited for Keyword and Shares Explorer and suggested tags. You only have 25 searches per day and you only get the first three values. If you want to upgrade to the paid version, on YouTube click on Tab Body Extension and then click Upgrade Now. For channels that have less than 1000 subscribers, click on this 50% discount coupon. Select the version you are interested in. For me, I use the Pro version. Then choose if you want to pay per month or per year. Then choose the payments method. For me, it will be PayPal. Congratulations! Your order is now complete. Now let's see how I use this tool on a daily basis. The first thing I use this tool to find keywords and topics. For this, when I browse YouTube, I have on the right side this additional section which displays some information about the video viewed, such as the number of comments, the SEO score, the number of Facebook likes, but the most important section is the tags used by the video. You can click here to know the ranking of the video linked to these tags. This is valid even for others' videos. You can also copy these tags if you want and use them in your own videos. What I do also is that I click on the tags that I find interesting to open this window which informs me about these tags. This window that I am going to explain to you now is also accessible from Keyword Explorer 
which I use directly to check the relevance of a subject. For example, let's say for this video that you are watching, I will first target the keyword how to search for keywords in top body. Here you have the overall score given by the tool. In the free version, you will only have the general score, which may sound good to you. But in the paid version, you also have the specific score for your channel, which is like you may notice different from the general score. This keyword, for example, according to the tool, does not switch my channel. Although in general, is interesting. Further down, here you have three barometers. The first indicates if the keyword is shared on YouTube or not. The second indicates whether there is strong competition or not. And the third indicates whether the videos already ranked against that keyword are already optimized or not. The more these three parameters are green, the more interesting the keyword becomes. Below is the number of existing results for that keyword, and here is a comparison between the average views of your latest videos versus the lowest number of views for a video in the top ranking. When I am in this situation, I look here for tags related to the same subject which are more interesting than this one. When I spot one, I click on it to see its results. This one too is not good. Let's look for another one. This one is better. I think I will use this one for this video. Here you have the videos on the same topic, which you can also click to explore. Here you can see the list of search results for this keyword. Well, the next feature I use is when I upload a new video. Here under the tags field, the top body tool suggests a list of uh, tags for you which you can sort by relevance keyword score or share traffic for me i sort them by keyword score be careful the more the tag is green and has a higher score the better i saw in a video on another channel where it was advisable to choose those in red so be careful by the way, I noticed that when I upload my video for the first time, I have a better tag suggestions when I edit my video after saving and posting it. Something I haven't figured out yet. If anyone knows the answer, please give it to us in the comments. The next feature that I use sometimes is the one to quickly create thumbnail for my videos. You can choose background, text, add images, emoji. Also, you can see what it looks like among other videos. The next tool you can use is SEO Studio. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions to improve the SEO score of your video. I also use the Video Topic Planner. It helps me when I am on YouTube and I find the interesting topic and keywords to save them in this tool. Finally, the last uh, gadget that I use that I find uh, funny is the milestones one. It's a source of motivation to succeed in the small proposed steps. Well, this is how I use this tool. It doesn't always work 100%, uh, but it allows me to apply a method. Another note, I also sometimes make uh, videos on topics even when their scores are not good if I find the topics interesting for my subscribers. They will find them directly when they share my channel's videos list or through the suggested videos at the end of my top rated videos. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon in another video. Goodbye.